So if you've been around our channel before, you must have seen the many power bank reviews we have done. We are looking at another 10,000 milliamp hour power bank today. However, this power bank has a feature which we've never seen in a power bank. This power bank has its own app. Let us know in the comment section below if you've seen a power bank that uses the app. Let's find out more. Welcome to Grumpy Man's Reviews. Today we are looking at the PB40 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. If you want to know more about this or pick this up after watching this review, click the first link in the description box below. Remember, if you find the video useful, a like would be appreciated and please subscribe to watch more reviews. So this is everything that was in the box. It's a really small box. You can't really read it, the writing is so small. There is a Type-C to Type-C charging cable, instruction booklet, and again, same as the box, it's really difficult to read that, it's really small. There is a QR code there for the app. I have already downloaded the app from Google Play. Power bank itself, so it's got some branding there. At the bottom, it's letting us know 10,000 milliamp power. It is. It says it's 36 watts. Two type C ports. It has some indicator lights there. This is another cool feature. So I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up on camera. There are four lights there. There's a little sticker on there. I've left that on. That lets you know the power by 25%. So it'll be 25, 50, 75 and 100. Let's have a look at the app. So linking the app up, it's really easy. You need to turn your Bluetooth on and then it's just a few clicks and then you're up and running. So as you can see there, it's letting us know 93% battery is left in the power bank. We have some more information here. Battery care, so you could stop charging your phone or tablet when it gets to 80%. So every time you turn it on, it will make a beep. You can turn that off within the app. And beep to indicate power, you could also turn that off. Auto lights off, so the little four lights, you could turn them off, but I've left that on because sometimes when I don't use the app, I know how much power there's left in the power bank. When it goes to the last one, I know it's 25% left and it's a good idea to charge the power bank. Comfort mode, that's off at the moment. Now let me ask you something, have you ever lost a power bank? I have. Kids take my power bank, they come running down when their phone or tablet is about to die. Where's the power bank? Where's the power bank? Give them it, crisis over for them now. Then when I need the power bank back, where's the power bank? I don't know where it is. Thanks to this power bank, I just push this button. See the lights have started flashing on the power bank and it's making that sound. I tried that with one of the children and I said, the, the uh, power bank is in your bedroom, go get it. So it's letting me know my phone is on 66%. And it's letting me know the charge there as well. PD3, which is fast charging. And it's letting me know it's 16 watts. So it's charging both the devices together at the same time. So one it's charging 16 watts and the other one is charging at 13 watts. Well, it keeps fluctuating between 13 and 14. Power bank is a good size. It fits in your pocket. If you go traveling, this power bank will be well suited for you. So I have some times here. So I ch uh, charged this power bank with my 20 watt charger. The power bank itself was on 25% and it took just two hours to fully charge the power bank. However, one thing to mention, whether you're charging your device or, your, or whether you're charging the actual power bank, the power bank does get slightly warm. And that's why it has a feature on here, comfort mode. You could reduce the heat if you enable comfort mode. Once the power bank was at 
I charged my Samsung S21 Ultra, which has a 5,000 milliamp power battery. I let the battery completely die. The phone had switched off. I used this power bank to charge my uh, Samsung S21 Ultra. Within an hour and a half, the phone had reached 100%. And the power bank had 50% battery remaining. Again, I let my Samsung S21 Ultra die again, complete to zero. Put it on charge. This time, the power bank only gave it 50% battery because the power bank had 50% battery left itself. It took 32 minutes to get the S21 Ultra, which has a big battery, 5,000 milliamp hour, from zero to 50%, 32 minutes. I have used the power bank for over three weeks and I'm really happy with it. It does charge your devices fast and then the power bank itself charges fast. If you are looking for a small power bank that doesn't weigh much and is good for taking it around on the go, I could recommend this. I will link it in the description box below. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave a like and please subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.